everyone. Welcome to Australia and welcome to Australian Book Travels. We're on to another of our book reviews. The, it's now February. This is just ridiculous, isn't it? It's just going so quick. I say that every week, but it's true. It's just, yeah, life's going so quick. So, our book review for this week is an English writer and an English book. I am going to put my glasses on. Apologise. I read this last year. I read it probably early last year. It's Grounding, Finding Home in a Garden by Lula Alenda. Alenda? Yeah, Lula Alenda. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, Lula. There it is. It's absolutely beautiful. This book is... It is a memoir. I believe it is Lula's second memoir. Um, she wrote it during COVID. It is... She correlates the seasons in her garden for this one year. She correlates that and draws parallels with uh, the death of her mother and also the fact that she and her family are facing eviction. They rent a house in Sussex, I think, and they're facing eviction at, all at the same time, which, I mean, losing your parent or losing anyone and facing eviction with your, a family of your own must have just been awful. So she wrote, uh, Lula wrote about it, and I read it, I read it because I, I absolutely love gardening. I love plants. I love being in the garden. So I, I thought I could um, uh, certainly empathise or, or um, get, you know, draw parallels, and I did. It was beautiful. It I recommend this to anyone, whether you're male or female or, or whether, no matter how you describe yourself, whether you're young or old, please do yourself a favour and read this. It is beautiful. It is well written. Uh, and when I say well written, I mean it. it's very reader friendly. It is um, honest. It's raw. It's beautiful. The way she describes her English garden Sometimes the garden isn't as attractive as she wants it to be, or certainly as not as attractive as uh, the you know you envisage an English garden. She's honest about that, and she um, gives you the changes in the season, all whilst she's reflecting on the passing of her mother and this impending you know doom of of her family. Where are they going to go if they're evicted? It, it was a lovely, lovely book. I Would I read another of hers? Yes, absolutely. I, it, it, it just evoked all of these beautiful images and, and helped me self-reflect and also to look at death a little differently. Um, and, you know, death of everything, life, human life, animal life, plant life, uh, relationships, uh, the ending of a good book. That was a death. So, uh, yeah, look, I I recommend this was, it's uh, published by Granta in England. It is her second memoir, as I say. Um, and look, it, it's, how many pages is it? I'll just give you the lowdown on the pages. Let me have a look. Uh, she does give a post postscript there too. Uh, 278, but with the postscript 285. Um, and she gives you, oh, it's postscript and also further reading as well. Um, it was just brilliant. It was really lovely. I could not put it down. Uh, you know, some of it was sad. Uh, other times it was uplifting. Um, a really beautiful book. And look, the pages are, it's, it's quite, you know, not too small, but it is small writing. It's not large writing. Oh, that's my book, book plate. Um, my book plate there that I've, I could just feel it's, it's uh, timber, it's wood. So it, I could just feel that it was hard on the back of the page. And I thought, what's that? Um, yeah, so it, it's lovely. It really is lovely. And it is a book that you can uh, pick up, put down, 
at any given time, but I didn't. I just kept reading it. I thought it was lovely. I love the cover. I think this is beautiful. Typical um, with England on allotments and things like that. And of course, the two story semi detached. So it was lovely. Um, and there's Lula in the back. She lives in Sussex with her husband and four children and animals as well. So the that's just a lovely book. I recommend it. If you're looking for a lovely uplifting read, um, introspective, self-reflective, all of those good, inspiring um, uh, words and, and adjectives and things, I, I would... I would recommend it. I loved it. So, if you, I bought this one, just to let you know, I did buy it from, oh, I think I bought it from Dimex. Seems to be, I'm, I've bought a few books from Dimex, isn't it? But I, I don't always buy it from Dimex. It's all independent bookshops and secondhand bookshops. It's just these last few um, book reviews <laughs> seem to be that I've bought them from Dimex. Um, but I believe it's still there. The last time I was in Melbourne and had a look in the shop, it was still there um, because it was it was written through COVID. So it's only, when was it written? When, what year was it published? It wasn't 2023. It must have been 2022. There you go. Um, so not that, not that long ago. I recommend it. it, it look, it's not just English. Uh, you would certainly get something out of it no matter what nationality because it doesn't just talk about English gardens it's her correlation with that and and her life at that time but it could reflect any garden I recommend it so I'll take these off so that I'm not blinded um you, I'm not sure you can get it in paperback this is hardback I love my hardbacks to me, a hardback is a real book, isn't it? Because, you know, when I was younger, there were very few paperbacks. All your books were in hardbacks. Well, certainly the books that I was given or that I inherited or that mum and dad bought for me, they were all hardbacks. So to me, a, a, a real book is a hardback. But cost, of course, is um, is a big factor. And so... If you're just if you're buying a non-fiction, um, it just makes sense. Unless you really really love it, uh, it just makes sense to to buy it in paperback. And I think some publishers now don't publish in hardback, so it just depends on which publisher and for what genre that they're publishing. But this is hardback. I've only ever seen it in hardback. I haven't seen it in paperback. I recommend it. So that's it for today. I look forward to seeing you next week. Until then, happy reading. And do let me know if you've read it. I hope you have. But if you haven't, um, if you have read it, let me know. If you haven't, please go out and get it. Uh, borrow it or, or buy it and um, read it and let me know what you think. I, I just think it's a lovely read for anybody, male, female, whoever. Um, let me know what you think. And in the meantime, have a... A good read, have safe travels wherever you're going, and I will see you. I'll see you on Saturday for the next travel video. By the way, if you do like any of the videos, I keep forgetting to say this, although I think I, I do write it in the, the video, but if you do like any of the videos, um, the travel or the book reviews, please do like, share, and subscribe. It is free to do so. And it just helps the channel. And it helps me f to bring you f future content. Um, I hope in the future it'll help me. <laughs> so, yes, please do like, share and subscribe. I will see you next week. Safe travels wherever you go. Good reading. Good health to you. Make sure you eat nice good food. And I'll see you next week. Bye for now.